Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the DeWitt Academia Skeleton. This is the reference number A c.ske.001 this is i believe the first or one of very few skeletonized dewitt watches which has been produced and so what you have is the academia style case which has come in various forms over the year and these are typified by a particular case shape as well as i call crenellation where you have uh, one color mixed with usually this sort of matte black, which is, I believe, a vulcanized rubber grading this um, design on the side of the case. DeWitt is most well known for their uh, movements and their interesting ability to play with mechanics. They've incorporated some mechanical concepts that were never meant to go into wristwatches um, in there, and they've played around with a lot of interesting things over the years. And the skeleton is no different with the movement. So the in-house movement has a neat feature in the seconds hand here. And if you look at it closely, it just looks like a retrograde counter, but look what's happening. Rather than a being a traditional retrograde hand, where the hand moves and then jumps back to the starting position, the hand moves backwards and forwards. And on top of that, the hand actually extends, because you can see here there's an upper and there's a lower scale for indicating the seconds. One is 0 to 30, one is 31 to 60, and 31 to 60 is on the way back. So you can see how the seconds hand there, it gets a little bit longer, and then watch this, it gets shorter. That's really cool. You have a power reserve indicator here. There's two mainspring barrels, and you can see that they're also skeletonized so that you can observe the, the power reserve um, visually in terms of a function of how tightly wound the springs are, but you also have a power reserve indicator here, which is part of this element on top of one of the mainspring barrels, and there's a small arrow uh, with part of these three planetary gears, and it's quite cool. So you can see here, I am winding the movement, and you can see how the this other mainspring barrel here is winding and turning. Because it's a skeletonized movement, you have more decoration um, on the movement, so there's a lot of hand decoration, beveling, and things of that nature that look quite good. There's the escape. It's a three hertz movement. I believe it has um, about five days of power reserve. Case size is 42 and a half millimeters wide. This case is an 18 karat rose gold. There you have it on the wrist. Legibility is not, um, of course, as good as a, a traditional watch. And I think DeWitt makes the problem a little bit worse by having completely polished hands that aren't quite long enough. Typically people say that if you're buying a skeletonized watch, it's not for pure legibility, and, and I understand that, but I think that a little bit of, of extra added emphasis on the hands, which are otherwise nicely done, would have helped the watch be a little bit more legible. Who gets a watch like this? Well, it's definitely a dressier watch, and it's really about appreciating horology. What I mean by that is about appreciating the movement. You have to like uh, the DeWitt brand. You have to understand what's going on here and what's novel about the, 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 you know, they call it a bi-retrograde hand, and I take issue to that because that could just mean a dial that has two different retrograde hands on it, which is a type of watch that exists. So I call this a, a, a bi-direction or a dual-direction du dual direction, uh, retrograde hand because that's basically what's happening. And it's really fun to watch that hand move back and forth, and that little detail about the hand gets a little bit shorter and a little bit longer is just something that's just so, so well done and something that even DeWitt doesn't talk about very well um, on their website or the marketing materials. So again, this is the DeWitt Academia Skeleton, a cool watch. Um, this one, I believe, is a limited edition of just 28 pieces, and DeWitt may make the watch in other colors that would be a different limited edition. Price is 78,000 Swiss francs, and you can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks.